Yeah, I'm calling it direct. Don't allow it to. Today, we'll be running a redox titration between potassium tetraoxyl manganese 7, which is proper here. Yeah? And then IO2 tetraoxyl sulfate 6. This is a redox titration. This is the reducing agent and this is the oxidizing agent. No indicator is required. Rather, the color changes at the end point will tell us that we have actually reached the completeness of the reaction in the sense that this is manganese 7, which is purple. This ion 2 will bring it down from purple to pink, which is manganese 2. Or the other way around, ion 2 ion will be oxidized to ion 3, which is yellow by this manganese 7. So we are looking at pink and yellow at the end points, but we will first of all reach pink. On standing, it will start turning yellow gradually. So in this type of titration, no indicator is required, like I said earlier, but we need H2SO4 to protonate the medium. To protonate the medium, meaning if you see the equation, the equation requires one mole of manganese 7 ion, then five moles of ion 2 ion, then the H2, that H there comes from this acid, that hydrogen ion comes probably from this H2SO4. Now, what you have to do as normal, you fill your breaths. I've already done that to avoid wasting time. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just take note of my initial. Always do that before you start titrating. Here is 0 0.7 as the initial. So I have to prepare the B, which is the iron 2 sulfate, using 25 ml of uh, volumetric prepares. I'll just tell you that you can contact Sir Majesty Ito for a laboratory equipment and reagents. They are affordable and provide accurate results too. Sir Majesty Ito only sells what he knows and his patterns of delivery are sure and certain. Place the order today. Thanks for your patronage. Using my prepared filler, can also place order for any of these uh, apparatus and reagent to Sir Majesty. Okay, gently bring it and dispense. Next, I will add 5 ml of about 2 molar H2SO4 to the 25 ml of B, that's 25 ml of IO2 sulfate. You see, it's green. I purposely made it come so that you see the green color because the strength of this is about 0 0.5 mole, which is high. But this is up to 2 point something mole. Okay. I've measured 5 mil of 2 molar H2SO4 and add. Remember, this is not an indicator, it is to protonate the medium for the redox reaction to occur. And I'll remove this. Remember, not, remember to take the initial before you start titration, even if you have taken it before. Look at it again. This is T0.7. Then, pour this direct, open the tap. Don't allow it to touch the walls of the chemical flask. It is the ion two is consuming the manganese seven. See, I'm pouring it direct. Don't allow it to touch the walls to avoid error in volume. Or you might use distilled water to run off anyone. If the water is clean and you use it to run off anyone hanging. It will not contaminate it because water is neutral and will not affect the end point. But here I will be very careful. Okay, shake. Okay, we are there. 
this is the end point color, this pink. And then our reading here should be this is 22. Uh, this is 22.56. 22.7, which is exactly, and our initial was 0 0.7. Therefore, 22.7 minus 0 0.7, the volume of KML for yield should be 22.0. So, this is the color change at end point. That should be manganese 2 mixed up with iron 3, but on standing it will turn yellow. This is the titan mixture I got after some minutes, some minutes ago. This particular color will also revert. That's 22 points. One, two, three, four. That's five. That's two point five. What we are doing is just to see the amount of the reducing agent that is required to consume a particular amount of oxidizing agent. The likely question that will follow this type of titration you see there on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, share my video, remain majestic, much love from me to you. Ask your questions there in the comment box. Bye for now.